Hey, what's up, YouTube? Star Mexis here. Assalamu alaikum to the Muslims. Um, so basically, in this video, I'm going to talk about a subject that's very dear to me. It needs to be discussed. I'm going in this video. I'm going to talk about genies. In Islam, we believe in genies. These things are unseen, literal beings that were created from smokeless fire before mankind. Now, some of the genies are really nice and are our friends. Unfortunately, also though, Allah created some of the genies who are very, very mean. And they work for Shaitan, who is basically, as we all know, the chief genie. That's right, Shaitan is a genie. Now, these genies, they, you know, as I said, they're literal beings and they even have sex. I mean, as mentioned in the Quran, chapter 55, verse 56, in them will be maidens, chaste, restraining their glances, from whom no man or genie before them has touched. Uh, so, I wonder if these genies are as well endowed, but don't worry, men, there's also female genies, so Allah's got you covered with that. And furthermore, these genies even make choices. Some of the genies are even Muslims. If we read the Hadith Malik, book 54, number 54.12.33, there are jinn in Medina who have become Muslim. When you see one of them, call out to it for three days. If it appears after that, then kill it for the shaitan. So you see, there are some genies that are also Muslims, but there's some genies that are very, very sneaky. Now, as stated before, some of the genies can be very, very mean. I mean, their mission is to serve their lord and master, Shaitan, and to drive away mankind into the abyss and evil and cause heartache and hardship for us. For example, genies interrupt prayers. If we read Muslim book 4, number 1104, Habu Huera reported to the herd of the Messenger of Allah, may peace be upon him, saying, A highly wicked one amongst the genies ex escaped yesternight to interrupt my prayer, but Allah gave me power over him. So I seized him and intended to tie him to one of the pillars of the mosque in order that you, will, that you all together or all might look at him. But I remember the supplication of my brother, Solomon. My Lord forgave me. Such, Give me such a kingdom as will not be possible for anyone after me. So, as we can see, these genies really want to interfere with our lives. I mean, they want to interrupt the most important part of a Muslim stay, which is our Salat, or prayer. That's just the epitome of love. But they even go further. The genies even snatch things at night. Yes, I'm not kidding. Hadith volume of uh, Bukhari volume 4 book 54 number 533 narrated Jabir bin Abdullah the prophet said cover your utensils and tie your water skins and close your doors and keep your children close to you at night as the jinn spread out at such time and, s and um, snatch things away when you go to bed put out your lights for the mischief jeweler i.e. the rat may drag away the wick of the candle and burn the dwellers in the house. Al-Ara said the devils instead of the genies. So, the genies even snatch things at night if we're not careful. But luckily, Allah has given us a warning system against the genies. Trees! That's right, the trees snitch on the genies for us. If we read volume, Bukhari, Volume 5, Book 58, Number 199, Narrate Abdul Rahman, 
I asked, can't pronounce the name, who informed the prophet about the genies at the night when they heard the Quran. He said, your father Abdullah informed me that a, <laughs> a tree. <laughs> He informed me that a tree. <laughs> Your father Abdullah informed me that a tree informed the prophet about them. So you see, the <laughs> so you see, the trees are Allah's protectors against for us against the genies thank you <laughs>